Bitcoin obviously having a very significant surge to the upside uh, in yesterday's action. Remember, it's risk on. So the kicker here is always remember that when you see the stock market go up substantially, when people get excited, when people think about the printing presses at the Fed starting to go nuts again, what does that tell us? It tells us that people feel like there's more money coming and then risk assets go up. Bitcoin is right in that groove, right? So if the stock market's going up, if Nvidia is going up, probably Bitcoin's going to bounce. Wait a minute, everyone. Welcome to BitcoinZilla, your platform for daily cryptocurrency analysis and news. Our mission is to keep it simple. BitcoinZilla offers engaging information that is easy to understand. Our analysts keep their eyes on the latest news to provide valuable insights via email. Don't miss out on this opportunity. Join our community of 10,000 subscribers and experience the new edge with BitcoinZilla. Subscribe now. In this video, Gareth will share his insights on what's driving the significant surge in Bitcoin. Is it linked to the stock market's performance or Nvidia's rise? How does a pause in Bitcoin's movement potentially lead to a bullish flag pattern? How do larger time frames and 2021's highs factor into Bitcoin's current scenario? Could higher inflation and the Fed's actions cause Bitcoin to roll over with the stock market? Let's join Gareth in this interview about these topics and more. Bitcoin is right in that groove, right? So if the stock market's going up, if Nvidia's going up, probably Bitcoin's going to bounce. It had a big reversal candle here. Now, granted, this wasn't at a major low, so it doesn't have as much power as if the, if this red candle was down here at like a major multi-month low, this would probably be a bottom. Now, it doesn't have quite the same, same factor to it, but it's still very impressive. Very solid move today. And we're out, I should say, yesterday, and we're only basically pausing here. So you're just pausing today. If you can get a pause, believe it or not, you could go like this, and what, what does that start to create? Flag pattern, right? You look at that, little flag pattern. So granted, I'm jumping the gun. I don't know if it's going to create that pattern. Maybe we reverse right back down. But this is, if we get a candle like today, I would start looking for that bullish pattern to maybe see this thing start to turn up, maybe retest 69, and then obviously that 73,000 level. Now, the negative would be, is that you have to remember the bigger time frame. So we're talking literally about one candle yesterday and a few candles in the next few days potentially being bullish. But you still have to be aware that the weekly has yet to close above 69.2, which was 2021's highs. That's still a major factor for me. And you also have to watch the stock market, right? The risk on, risk off factors in this market. If all of a sudden we see higher inflation coming out, PCE, next CPI, all that stuff, and the Fed starts to be basically discounted that they can actually act, then you likely see Bitcoin roll over with the stock market. So there's just a bunch of different things we have to look for here as a technical trader to find out what the next move is. But I would basically put it in the camp right now, slightly positive bias based on yesterday's candle, but let's see what it does over the next couple days. Quickly looking at Ethereum here, guys. If we look at Ethereum, good bounce as well. Ethereum had a monster flush. I mean, think about this. Ethereum went from a $4,000 pierce all the way to basically $3,000 before that big bounce yesterday. I think I talked about this in some key things. If you look at right here, right, you had this low, you have this area here, and kind of right where we pierced in that zone. I actually thought it would go a little bit lower myself because there was this other major level here. Maybe it still gets there, but as of now, that's still a positive bounce on Ethereum. The BlackRock shares Bitcoin ETF, IBIT, holds 239,252 Bitcoins, exceeding MicroStrategy's holdings. IBIT's rapid accumulation in less than two months highlights institutional interest in cryptocurrency. MicroStrategy reaffirms its commitment to Bitcoin amidst increasing competition, announcing a debt offering to bolster its reserves. Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ETH, are leading this rally with increases of about 12.5% and 16.5% respectively. The Federal Open Market Committee, FOMC, meeting on March 20 boosted market optimism. The committee plans for three interest rate cuts in 2024, indicating a cautious approach. This, along with a 0.94% drop in the US dollar index, DXY, has sparked investor interest and driven the crypto market up. Institutions are showing more interest in cryptocurrencies. This has led to an increase in the market capitalization of top cryptocurrencies. The market value has bounced back to $2.498 trillion from a recent low of $2.208 trillion, a 13% rise. 
Despite recent market corrections, the optimism around Bitcoin's halving event continues. Market watchers compare the current price drop to previous halving cycles and expect strong bullish rebounds. The market rise has led to significant liquidations of short positions, almost $180 million in 24 hours. Bitcoin and Ether are at the forefront of this liquidation, highlighting the risks for short sellers in a rising market. All right, going to just a couple other charts, I want to look at gold. Gold is having a pretty impressive move. Look at this move yesterday on the Fed. All right, now you guys know I've been a big fan of gold. Um, again, I took took my profits already on my swing trades. I still hold a hoard of gold on the longer term that I continue to hold. And again, so far, gold is having a monstrous year here, um, really competing with the S&P at this point and beating it. Not so much Bitcoin at this point, but we'll see obviously later in the year. Now, gold's down ticking a little bit here today, so we'll have to see where just this is the 10-minute candle. We'll have to see where it goes. But I think the biggest thing to look at here is number one, we made on the daily chart new highs, although we are pulling back. And I want to put that trend line, that same trend line needs to go in here. So what I want to do here is put this one back because this is one where I want to see where we close today. Do we close back below this line by end of day? It's coming back in, but this again still will be resistance until we confirm above it. Okay, so again, little things like this, very, very important to watch. Does it close above? Does it confirm? If it confirms, I was looking at a bigger time frame on this, and I want to just show you this real quick. If we go to our weekly chart on gold, and we go all the way back, in fact, let me go to the monthly. I want to go to the monthly here. So what I'm looking at here is if we look at the monthly, and we put the high in from the 1979 high all the way up to the 20, uh, 2000, what was that, the 2011 high, then your target zone now comes into view at a short-term major resistance, right? So again, if we look at this, this is the 1979 high, 2011 high. And if we look at this, you're looking at around 2350, that would be major resistance. So that could be, if we if we do confirm above this short-term level, that would be your next target zone of around 2350 before you should expect a solid pullback. The financial behemoth Fidelity Investments updated its application for a spot at their exchange traded fund ETF, to encompass staking capabilities. The firm, Fidelity, has made it known that the sponsor might, from time to time, opt to stake a portion of the fund's assets through one or more trusted staking providers. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, has asked for more funds for the fiscal year 2025 to better regulate the fast-growing cryptocurrency sector. SEC Chair Gary Gensler stressed the need for more resources to effectively oversee the crypto markets and tackle non-compliance. Uh, quickly going to silver here. Again, we'll just touch on silver as we come to conclude this. Um, but again, take a look at this bigger pattern. This is going back to 2020. To me, this still looks like an inverse head and shoulders here. Hasn't really quite broken out yet, but it's borderline. Maybe it's starting to right here, but obviously that would be very bullish. And even so, if you look at the bigger, so you have the shorter term inverse head and shoulders. But if we look at this, what type of pattern is this? right? That's a bull flag as well. So even though silver is a little trickier to judge because of its industrial metal factor, you still have to say that overall, the bigger time frames are very bullish on silver. All right. Quickly going into oil here, guys, if we go to oil, we can see that oil is having its second small down day. Remember, we still have a breakout level here. Let me try to draw this in as best I can. So there we go. So you still could potentially pull back to this zone. But as long as you stay above it, you've confirmed above this level. You have to think at some point this turns up and goes to this $85 level per barrel on crude oil. And lastly, natural gas, guys, just touching base on natural gas here. Natural gas had a little pullback yesterday. If we look at this, one of the things I would just draw in here, it looks like we're making a little bit of a wedge pattern to me now. So if we draw a line here and we kind of draw a secondary line down like this, this is a nice little wedge pattern that's coming very much to a head in this area, right? I mean, you can only stay inside of here much for very much longer. So let's watch to see which way this breaks. Does it break out or does it break down? If it breaks out, I think you get a very substantial move on natural gas. In general, if oil is going to go to 85, you would assume it would be to the upside. But let's watch and see. If you've been with us so far, a big thank you. Don't forget to subscribe for free to Bitcoin Zella for your daily news. 
The link is waiting below. That's all for today's crypto news. Stick around for more updates, insights, and analysis on cryptocurrencies. Share your thoughts in the comments, like this video, and subscribe for more exciting content.